Hey, 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 what is going on, guys? So, if some of you guys have seen in my recent post, I've been deciding to purge some of the collection. Um, it started about a month or so ago when I was really motivated to get a Sega CD. So, to do that, I had to get rid of a bunch of my other stuff. Um, I went through, I checked out all my freaking you know, my fillers and stuff I did not need and I just kind of just started getting rid of them. Um, it worked. With birthday money and stuff like that, I was able to pick up a Sega CD and Sonic CD. No freaking problem, didn't hit the bank, didn't hit nothing. So then that just gave me more motivated because I wanted a Sega 32X. I wanted uh, more Sega CD games now because I wanted to actually play more of that library. So I've decided I went through some of the Nintendo games. I went through some of my 360 games. I went through some of the other games. And I was just going through everything to basically just get rid of what was not needed anymore. Um, so what I'm going to do is this first part of this video, um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be purging tomorrow at my local retro gaming store. I've been trying to sell stuff online, but when it comes down to stuff like this, it gets to be a pain in the butt because I either got to list everything one at a time or sell it all together, bundle it, lower the price, and then eat it for shipping charges. Because a lot of people don't like to buy stuff like this unless they get free shipping, which is a tip for a lot of you guys. Um, you can either nickel and, nickel and dime these games out, or you're gonna do what I'm gonna do now. Granted, I am gonna be taking it into a trade-in store, a retro store. They, it is more of a mom and pop store, so she will give me a little bit more than GameStop, because you know GameStop would rip me off. Well, let's jump right into it. So basically, I kind of, I, I price charted a lot of this stuff and the value is easily over $100. Um, will I get that much? No. Will I probably get like $60? Yeah. But if I could use that money to put towards game uh, games that I actually like to play, then I'm willing to do that because like I said, this is not, it's sitting here, it's playing. Some of this stuff is it's not play, getting played. So we're gonna go through some of this stuff quick, show you guys. I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be either biting your nails and stuff like that. And like a lot of guys have told me, you know, I can't believe you're doing this. And it's like, I'm, I'm a collector, but I like collecting certain stuff. And I really like boxes and I really like, and I'm getting to the point where I wanna play the games sometimes more than anything. And it's hard for me to hold on to something I'm not gonna play. So let's go through some of the games quick that we are gonna be getting rid of. Um, like I said, a lot of these aren't, insane value these were simply fillers on the shelf but i want to put them all towards games i actually want so we're just going to kind of go through this quick um we have a side pocket now the reason this is covered in plastic is when i bought this these were professionally cleaned so that's why this is in plastic and this is what i mean i bought this months and months ago i haven't even took it out yet so we got side pocket silent service othello Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge. Bump and Jump. Now, I actually kind of did like this when I did it for a video, but I don't know. I was still on the edge about this. I might hold on to this one just because I kind of had fun one time playing this. But I don't know if that's the problem. Is I played it once and I liked it, and I don't know if I'll ever go back. Uh, has some Kings of the Beach. Mac Rider. Destination Earth Star. Now I tried. I thought this looked like cool on the cover, but it's. I didn't. I did not enjoy it at all. It wasn't a very fun game. Um. Ten yard fight. Jack Nicholson. Fighting golf. Championship bowling. Bandai Golf, a lot of sports titles. This game actually was worth more than I thought it was. Urban Champion, this is more like a, that was like a $13, $15 game. Um, Vegas Dream. Tiger Heli. And for the last of the NES games, Slum, Slam, something like that. Now I looked a lot of these games up 
they were anywhere from five to twelve dollars so of course I'll probably eat it in fees probably won't get much at all for them but it's simply just sitting here not getting played and maybe she could sell it and somebody will actually play it um, so now we just got a couple other games now this was uh, sent to me a while back but I'm not into this and I don't have a gun for it so I have no use in it I doubt she'll even take it but you never know we have virtual cop on the Sega Saturn and I have two of these, but I might as well try and sell one of them off. But Virtual Fighter 2. Genesis wise, nothing fancy. She probably won't even take they probably won't even take these, but we have college football and uh, Eternal Champions. Um, <coughs> these are just kinda I don't know about I might keep on Eternal Champions just a habit, but I'd rather have it with the case. But it is what it is. Um, just some PS2 and Xbox 360 games. Bolt. A lot of kids games. Cause I got a bunch of these free a while back from a buddy. Um, his kids outgrew them and stuff like that. And he said, you want them? I said, I'll take anything that's free, man, game-wise. Um, Plants vs. Zombies. Garden, Garden Warfare. Got Garden Warfare. Garden. Uh, Walking Dead. Survival Instincts. Rango. This game was a surprise. I looked this one up. This one's actually like a $20 game. But Toy Story 3... Um, we have Rock Band. Now, I probably wouldn't turn this in, but I also have a controller or a guitar that was given to me for free that turns on and everything. So I'll probably just... Well, it did turn on. Yeah, there it goes. I'll probably just trade that in because I don't... We don't play guitar here, or we don't play Rock Band in the house, so it's just sitting around taking up space. Some of these PS2 games I doubt she'll take because they're kind of beat up and they might not be worth much. We have Conflict Vietnam. Starsky and Hutch. Wally, -E. Super Trucks Racing, Mist 3, and Dark Angel. Now some of these games are questionable. Um, like I said, I looked them up. They're worth like five bucks on price charting, which means that she'd have to, if she would take it, she'd have to pay me like a dollar for it, and then turn around and try and charge six bucks for it. And games like. Dark Angel and stuff like that, which I don't think anyone's even really heard of or played. Nobody's going to walk into the game store looking for that game. So, it is what it is. I think what it's going to come down to is I'm going to take what I can in there. Whatever she takes, she takes. Whatever she doesn't, I'll either put back on the shelves. Or maybe I'll put aside um, and see if anybody else is interested in it later on for a giveaway or something. But it might just go back to the shelf and sit as a filler. Um... That's what I got so far, guys, for this first part of the video. Um, next time you see me, I will be probably tomorrow night after we got back, and I will show you guys and talk to you about exactly what I got, um, what everything kind of sold for or got credited for, um, and then uh, obviously what I, like I said, uh, what I got with the credit that was given to me. I'm going to be looking for Sega CD and possibly a Sega Saturn game, something like that, maybe. Otherwise, I might just go through and look at the PlayStation 1 RPGs and see what's going on up there. Um, I've been having a real hankering lately to play Legend of Legia, which I have on my PlayStation 1 Classic. It was one of the only games I actually added on there, so I might look for something like that. The only problem with games like that is, which I guess I shouldn't complain anymore because I am perfectly trying to... Perfectly. I am... Prima I'm, I'm trying to fill take down space so I have room for stuff I actually want to play. I want to get more like Funkos, I want to get more decorations, and I want to get something like that. And I don't need games like this that are kind of just sitting there, you know, taking up space. And like I said, if I can sell it to somebody that's either going to play it or it'll get me towards something I want to play, then I'm going to do it. So that's what I got, guys. Stay tuned here for a couple seconds and we will show you what I got. Alright guys, so I am back. Welcome to part two of the purge so basically my gaming store they accepted almost everything uh, there was a cup two ps2 games I think that Vietnam one and uh, some super trucks racing game that they did not take um, I knew it was coming I didn't really get much I got about $75 credit for all that considering that rock band 3 and Toy Story 3 were like 20 to $25 on price charting Plus the guitar, 
I'm not really that disappointed. It was a full box, but I'll tell you what. The reason that I'm not that disappointed was I got two things off my wish list that I've been looking for. Um, and considering the fact that all that stuff was filler crap that I probably was never going to play or that I maybe at one point got for free from a lot from somebody like at work or something like that, I was able to get two things off my wish list. Now I'm going to go with number one, which is actually going to be a video coming out either soon or it's already came out. And I've been talking about wanting this game remade. Um, keep everything the same almost, just up the graphics and maybe speed it up or something, the battle system. But we have Legend of Legia or Legaia or whatever you want to say it. Um, I picked this up. I think she charged me 25 bucks. Uh, no manual. Um, at first, I thought there was two discs, and I thought I was missing a disc, but I forgot that the, the manual for this original one was really big. So we got that. Um, looks great. Looks excellent condition. Um, I know a lot of times, sometimes you got to watch these, because they may have disc rot, which if you've never heard of before, is you can hold it up to light, and if you see little shines of light coming through it, it means you have disc rot. Now you can see here, the disc looks perfect, which is amazing. Um, I was so happy. This was one of my childhood favorite games. I'm so happy, just so happy to get this. Um, now, finally, as some of you have known, I've been working my way to completing the Sega Genesis collection. Um, not necessarily just the Genesis, actually all Sega consoles. So I have, you know, the Dreamcast of Saturn, um, the Master System now, uh, and I have almost all the Sega Genesis. Well. Now I do have all the Genesis. I just picked up, paid $45 for this. I had, it came with a controller and the cords for it and everything. And it was a little bit more than what I wanted to pay, but like I said, I'm willing to sacrifice that to get stuff I really want. So I had Generation or Model 3 now. So I have all the Genesis. I have the Master System. I got the Sega CD. I got the Sega Saturn. I got the Dreamcast. And I also have a 32X on the way right now. So I, as of right now, if you want to, you know, count the the Pico, the Pico system, I don't, I don't really count that one, but I will sooner or later try and get it. I have all the Sega American home consoles that was released to the general public, um, and that is it, there, guys. I have completed my one main goal. We'll see when this 32X shows up. It actually plays. I actually have about four or five different variants of the Genesis. I don't know if you can see the box back there, which I actually have almost a new in box right there. But I have everything now, and this has just been an awesome, good feeling. Good feeling. I was sad at first when she was like, oh, I can only give you about 70 bucks or whatever for this. And I was like, all right, I'll go find something. I went back, first thing I saw was this, and I'm like, well, if I can't find any other really games, because I was looking for Sega CD and stuff like the games. If I can't find anything cool for the Sega CD and stuff like that, I will take this up. So I went around, I didn't find anything, I looked at PlayStation, I had a list of PlayStation 1 games, um, I was trying to find the God of War games on PS2, didn't find that, but I looked through all the PlayStation 1 games and I got really disappointed because I didn't find any good ones that I wanted, and I was really looking for Legend of Bagaya or Legia, so bad, and I was so sad when I couldn't find it. Well I went up to the front, and of course, duh, why didn't I think of this, they had all the good games under the glass in the front. And this was right on top that I could see right there. And so awesome, guys. So great. The Purge is done. I actually have a few games that I will be sending off to a buddy of mine. He um, needs some filler, so he, uh, there was a couple that he wanted. So I'm going to send them off to him. Um, but otherwise, guys, that was The Purge for now. I know here in a few months I'll probably do another one. Kind of do the same thing. Get rid of the stuff I really don't want to get stuff I really do want. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Stay retro and have yourself a great day.